Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitale. Today we're making a very delicious, intensely garlicky, buttery shrimp. Now, if you go to like really good seafood places, like casual ones, um, and if you've ever ordered like a bucket of shrimp, you know they come in two flavors, a garlic butter and then like a spicy beer. The garlic butter is my absolute favorite. Um, and I love the unapologetic way that we eat those kinds of shrimp, right? We pull up our sleeves, the shrimp have the shell on them to preserve you know, the meat from going dry and because the shell adds so much wonderful flavor to the sauce. Um, it's messy, it's casual, you soap up all of, soap up, you like that? You soak up all of the juices with crusty bread um, and life is just fantastic and phenomenal. And that's what I was in the mood to share with you today because sometimes we don't have to do something very elaborate when really a nice big skillet of these with a bunch of friends, a nice cold beer if you want to, some crusty bread, and some good tunes on, and let me tell you, it's about as close to heaven as it gets for me. The list of ingredients is very short and sweet. It's kind of like me. You're gonna need some garlic, obviously, butter, olive oil, parsley, some all-purpose seasoning, and this is the shrimp you're looking for. Um, I buy it this way. You see it's sort of sliced around the back. That means it's been deveined. The head has been removed, of course, but then the shell has been left on. This is what you want. The shell has lots of really, really wonderful flavor, so we don't want to discard that shell. Because for this, this is not a scampi. It's not something where we're eating the shrimp with something else and we don't want the shell um, in the way. The shell here is gonna provide lots of really wonderful flavors. All I'm gonna do right now is thinly slice a lot of garlic because again, this is meant to be a very garlicky situation. So depending on how much shrimp you're using, you're gonna use more or less or really until your heart says stop. So that is all up to you. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get ahead and slice nice and thin, adding butter to a skillet. You can also do this, again, depending on how much you're making, you could do this in a big pot and then just bring the whole pot to the table um, or you can just make it a nice big skillet. You're gonna need like equal parts to butter and olive oil here. It's a lot of fat, I know that, but that is the sauce, that's all the sauce, and it is so delicious, so buttery, so garlicky, spicy, because I am gonna go ahead and add some hot pepper flakes, although you don't have to. You can serve it just like this and it would be delicious. This is gonna take, this whole entire recipe takes maybe six minutes, maybe. It's very short, it's very sweet. Uh, but I think it's one of the best things that you can make. Like I said, especially if you want to do something very casual, you don't want to make a big production and a huge meal. Um, this is fantastic. Okay, I'm talking to you like my nonna talks to me. Did you notice that? <laughs> While that starts to sizzle and the butter melts, just take up some all-purpose seasoning. You can take garlic, onion, a little dried herb action of choice. And I like to toss my shrimp in it. And the reason I like to do this is because this gives the seasoning a chance to really adhere to the chicken, um, to the chicken to the shrimp so that the sauce is flavorful, but the shrimp already has flavor on it. You know what I'm saying? Set that aside. Once the fat is all ready to go, then we move on to adding our shrimp. The garlic is looking very good. I'm seeing beautiful things happening. I'm seeing that the mixture, that butter has kind of gone a little bit darker in color, which we love. We love a little brown butter situation. And now at this point, we add the shrimp, right? And you don't have to worry about overcrowding because we're not looking to get any crispy edges, any seared anything. We're just looking for the shrimp to cook and for the sauce to kind of take on that lovely shrimpy flavor um, and just be all saucy and delicious and wonderful and do gorgeous things. Look at that color. Let me show you. Let me flip a shrimp, hold on. Look at this color. It's already looking gorgeous. Look at that. It's already doing beautiful things. This is just gonna cook for literally, I'd say about two minutes per side. Let's go with two minutes per side because uh, these are a little bit of a bigger shrimp. And you can see, look at the beautiful color of the sauce. That's from the butter. The butter has gone a lovely brown color and it's beautiful. And you don't worry about it being overcrowded because it's fantastic. Just let it go as is. Shrimp are just about ready 
They look fantastic. They smell even better. You know that sauce is going to be absolutely dynamite. I'm going to crank the heat up just a tiny, tiny bit for that last like 30 seconds. I've got some very finely chopped parsley because that's how I like it. I like it very finely chopped because I want it to sort of like blend into that sauce and do really wonderful, delicious things. I haven't added any salt here. Obviously, the shrimp are quite salty on their own, um, but also there's a little bit of salt in the seasoning, so I'm not, not going crazy. And then to finish, just the tiniest little squeeze of lemon. That's it. This is not overly lemony. It's just to sort of cut down on that richness of the butter. But look at that. Let me grab a spoon because I want you to see this beautiful sauce. Look at this. Look at the color of that sauce on that spoon. Right? Absolutely fantastic. Now I'm going to have to give this a taste, but I'm going to need to wait a minute because even I can't handle something as hot as this. So out of love for my palate, I'm gonna wait a second, I'm gonna clean everything up and they cool down for just a couple minutes and then we dive in. Shrimp should be cooled down enough. Look at, look, look, look what happens in here. Ready, watch. This is why we keep the shell on. You feel, see the juices? <gasps> oh, so you do this. You gotta do one of those. I hate the sound of people eating like that. I know I do too, but this is the goodness. Mm -hmm. All that flavor is dynamite. Make sure you put your so some sauce on your plate. I didn't, but. Mmm. Oh. The best in the entire world and universe. No, nobody can compete. Nobody can compete. I'm sorry. I hate to break it to y'all. I need more sauce. I need more shrimp. LauraInTheKitchen.com. I'm so sorry if my, my hair is covering the mic, by the way. I was very into what I was doing. LauraInTheKitchen.com for the written recipe. I will see you next time. Oh! Mm. That is...